Okay, here's one that may be of interest to a few people. Uh, racing in VR. Yes, we're at the same track as my last video. Uh, we're in a different car, but same class of cars, Group 5s. Um, so, I'll just drive around at a leisure play, pace, place, and go into a few things. Okay, how to make your VR videos look good. It's not overlays, it's not anything special. Um, it's simply not doing that. Clear all round. Clear right. <laughs> Clear right. It's simply choosing the time of day Track temperatures rising. where it's the game... Oh, Jim, shut up. Thank you. It's enough from you. Don't need to know the weather report. Okay, it's simply about picking a time of day and that photographers would call the golden hour uh, when the light is at its best. So, six, seven o'clock in the evening, you get the golden light, nice and contrasty. It makes the game look um, nice and contrasty. A nice glow to it. So that's as far as making the uh, the game look nice with its sunbeams and all the rest of it, sun flares, it's doing it automatically, no big secret. Second is head movement, so I'm in VR, you're in flat vision, the last thing you want is me doing this, or when I talk, I'm talking and my head's moving when I'm talking. It's really, really bad. Um, On your left. And uh, won't translate well to Watch somebody line. watching a flat version of this Clear left. race. So don't do that. Try and keep your head still. But at the same time, don't just keep it locked in one Clear position left. as if I'm riding on a, line. you know, a flat screen myself. Line. No, you naturally you're gonna move your head in the car. You're gonna look at the car going past. There's decent pace in this car. Shut up, Jim. So you're gonna be looking into the apex of the corners. You can even go as far as looking down at the gearbox when you change gear, if you want to be that silly. Um, but look where you would normally be looking. Don't twitch your head around. Just move it gradually. As you would normally, otherwise we'd all be walking around with whiplash and uh, collars on. Okay, the next thing. The actual races. It doesn't matter if you come first or you come last, but as long as you're actually racing. I look, there's cars in front of me and I'm, I'm racing them. It's not just an empty track in front of me. There's something for the viewer to watch. Me actually racing a car, not doing lap times. Car right. Doing, doing overtaking manoeuvres like that. Well done, Owen. Getting nice away with it. Another one, seating position. Make sure your head is in the right place. If I look down at my body or my shoulder, it's where my real shoulders are. It means that you're getting a proper view where you're supposed to be in the car. I can see down across the bonnet, which adds with the eye candy, I suppose. You've got all these reflections moving across the bonnet. P16. Um, but it's also giving it a good position for the viewer. That's it really. You can use overlays if you really want to, but let the game do that. No point putting artificial overlays on. Just pick the right time of day. Pick an interesting car that you like, drive it that you can drive. And pick a skill level where you're actually racing the cars and they're not either you're dancing off into the sunset and they're all sitting behind. Or they've run up the track and you're sitting on your own. Not much more boring than looking at an empty track. 
AMS2 is particularly good at it because the uh, the AI Left side. will actually yeah. race each other. So I drop a cog and go. I'm trying to keep up with that Porsche. Right side. Still there. Clear right. The fog descends on us once more on the grass, can't break, got it. What else is that? That's it really. I'm running a 1080 Ti, so it's not a massively powerful card. I'm running a Rift S. Um, I'm recording it straight off the screen, I don't do any editing. What you see is what you get. I press record at the start, and stop record at the end. Oh, what else? What else could we say for okay, budding I'm YouTubers? Because I'm such a professional. Um, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. And, and try and... I don't know, don't put too many dramatic pauses, he says. Not sarcastically. Um, ooh, big second gear lock up. Oh, this looks interesting. Car left. Got two line. wheels on the track, honest. Hold your line. Clear left. Good spin all the way up. So yeah, um, talk about what you're seeing. Put a little bit of emotion in your voice because you are racing and it is VR and it is emotional. I scare you to death if you uh, push things a little bit too far. On your left. Don't be talking with a Still monotonous there. voice that just keeps Clear going left. on, Father Ted. So much so, Get people stop listening to me because they can't follow what I'm saying. It's not a good look. Yeah, it's not a good look, honestly. Although we all do it at times. When the brain cannot compute driving and talking about something that you're thinking about at the same time. Car left. Hold your line. Clear left. Okay. Left side. That was sneaky. Just got away with that. There. Clear left. Uh, that's it really. As for making good VR content, um, frames are king. It's no point putting all the eye candy on and you can't actually rate it because you're getting a headache it's running at 40 frames per second or less. Um, but Pick stuff that adds to it. If you you know, if you've got to make choices. Try and get the jaggies out because that's a problem with recording VR. It is a cropped zooming image of what you're seeing in the headset. So anti-aliasing will help. As will the kind of the sunflowers, but they're all expensive to your frames. So pick wisely people. You've got to race the thing yourself and enjoy it. So there are compromises there. He's closing me down. I'm going up. So I don't really know what else to say about recording in VR. See what works for you. Um, trying to avoid fast head movements. But do look around. It says looking up to the apex. Checking your rear view mirror when you shouldn't left be. Side. Clear left. Thompson is now in the lead. Above all else, don't jinx, jinx yourself. Your self fulfilling prophecies of crashing on the last lap. Let me just check. This is the last lap, and because they haven't mentioned it until halfway around the last corner, we got away with it. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. So that's it. Head movement, time of day. Keeping a race, i.e. have cars around you when you're racing at the right level, for you to race against. Um, and dramatic pauses Jim no not dramatic pauses but 
actually having a conversation. I know I'm sitting here on my own in an empty room with a, a, a TV strap to my face, um, but I am actually talking as if I would be talking to people or to the viewer. And don't move your head when you're talking because it's just incredibly annoying. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. Just, just don't move your head when you talk. Oh yeah, and my favourite, uh, Dutch angles. Everybody hates me when suddenly my head goes like this. I have no idea. I, it must be the way I'm sitting or something. To me, this looks horizontal. To you, it's probably like that. All right. <laughs> okay. And with that, I've waffled on too long. Adios.